Hello everybody, welcome back once again to Alps Just Plays Doom Eternal. I've forgotten the name of it. <laughs> I was going to play it, say Ultimate Doom, and then I was going to say this, that, and the other. Grab a dash refill to completely refill the dash meter. After grabbing one, you can dash again to get across large gaps. That seems clear. Um, yep, we are continuing from exactly where we left off. No, no changes here. I don't know where to go. Down. Show me where to go. <laughs> Give me a clue. Give me a clue. I don't want to jump off. That seems like a terrible idea. Let's have a look here. Oh, there is something there. Oh, I see. What? There's a really obvious platform and I can't see it. Oh. Found it! Another sentinel thing, presumably to activate that joker up there. Who's then going to put the big spiky thing into the big wall thing. And we're all going to be happy families. Uh, can I please? Oh, no, apparently I cannot. Why wouldn't you let me chainsaw the dude? There's a whole point in this game to chainsaw the dude. I do have control grenade, don't I? Grenade on control. Hey, come back. Nice. Uh, honestly. That was much easier. <laughs> a fight at the end of the last episode was a little bit haphazard. Uh, this time, I just used my weapons that I had available, and everything was fine. I appreciate that pressing E um, when you have your thing charged, but there's nothing to hit. doesn't cause you to just use it for no reason. I'm seeing stuff up there, but I'm guessing that is not really necessary. Like, that's where we're going to go anyway, so... I don't think we need to worry about getting that secret or anything like that, just now. I feel like there's nothing there. <laughs> My gamer instincts say, try it, see. My invisible wall instincts say... Why, what? Did you miss it? Okay, I'll allow it. This time, can we please have a... Apparently not. Remember to put a uh, normal grenade in the Cacodemon, because you can do that. Stop looking at the thing. Missed it. Well, this might give me shotgun ammo, therefore making it possible. The Cacodemon killed me while I was trying <laughs> to pick up the... I was still attacking the other dude, mate. It's kind of rude, if I'm being honest with you. Right, that's a good start, isn't it? Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. I think it has the side that's damaged is the weak side. Can I just continue to attack the same side? That would be an interesting mechanic. Oh no, it wouldn't surprise me either. It seems perfectly eminently doable. Where are you? And stop this? Oh, you're gone. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I could just use my power punch at that cacodemon, to be honest with you. Oh, I jumped off the wall by accident because I thought I needed to jump to get to the wall in the first place. Whew. Can we just stop screwing this up? <laughs> Is that possible? I didn't even go manage that. Remember what C does? Straight up uses my chainsaw. Bash that. Chop that. Use that. Pick that up. And then get this in this Joker's face. There we go. Nice, easily done. Once you know how. You know how. It's doable. Gotta get the uh, the old technique down right, huh? It'd be nice if I could just throw those explodey barrels inside the cacodemon's face. <laughs> That'd be grand. Do that. No, there was something here. Uh, this is a huge level. This is not gonna be. <laughs> this is not gonna be done anytime soon, is it?
You seen that? Is it up there? Is that next? Probably. Okay, let's go. Let's explore every little bit. Look, armor. Worth it. Don't have a flashlight, no? Too much to ask for a flashlight. What a flashlight for? Gordon Bennett. Uh, hi. We are now on that bit. If we walk along this and then sort of jump off. Apparently, we're over here. Oh, devil. So directly below us right now is a secret. Is this literally where we just have to be? <laughs> it's not even a secret. What is this? It's one of those things that spawns a whole bunch of demons. Secret encounters are optional timed encounters hidden in the world. Any resources spent in a secret encounter will not be restored afterwards. If you run out of time and fail, you can retry the secret encounter. Each one rewards one weapon point. And I've used it. Oh. Hello? Where are they? I see you. Failed? Why? What did I do? The mama failed. Is it literally because it was timed and I ran out of time? <laughs> How much time do I have? I didn't even see it. Oh, easy. Nah, it really hurt, but I did it. <laughs> was it worth it for the weapon point? You tell me. Um, I am, I'm not here to judge. Is that there? I'm that. I would really like to be able to get back to that. Um, do I have to go the long way around? I just get up here. Okay, so it just goes here. No. It literally goes in the end of it. You want me to put this in the end of it, and then just sort of stand here while it, while it does it. <laughs> Let's just stand on the end of the thing that's going to get. I was going to shoot it. Oh, I thought it was going to stab it. Well, there you go. Oh, this is a sword from the. Uh... You want to stand on that thing? Okie dokie. We really need more ammunition. Uh, wait. <laughs> we, need, we need to be able to ammunition more. Oh, check it. I didn't even realise what I was looking at. That dude there has stabbed the heck out of this dude here. It's just a clash of titans going on and we're running through the middle of it. Loving it. We are literally going to the belly of the beast right now. That's, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with the imagination of that. In fact, here's more of that goop, which has no doubt got more tentacles in it. There's no doubt going to test my reflexes to some extent. Well, I figured I'd get both of them. Third one is more difficult, but at least it gave me HP. Probably could have just set you a light, right? Hey, don't forget you can do that. <laughs> that thing took that up there for me, which was quite nice of it. To be honest. Uh, this is goopy, and I don't like it, because it kind of means that I can't... Jump. I don't like not being able to jump! I can still go fast, though. <laughs> power forward into the thingy. Hello? Ah, oh, shit. Hey, you, hold you swallowed it. Good job. I find it really hard to get my pet cacodemons to eat properly. You suppose if you, um... Glory kill, not glory kill, but the the blood fist. Use blood fist on the. This is gross. <laughs> Do you suppose if you use blood fist on a set of staggering burning enemies, that that would somehow do a, a sort of a double bonus thingy? Do you think they stack, or at least um, synergize? I don't need this. Thank you for acknowledging it, but I do not need it. We really need to make better use of the available things like this for example we could probably stand to do that and then no ammo for that still 
This is our only hope, everyone, Kenobi. So get in there. Nice. And then get out of this goo. <laughs> There's too many tentacles in it, and it's impossible to jump. Don't like it. Thank you for the HP. I love that you can't even climb out of it. You have to walk out of it. That's just goopy, dude. A sticky ass. Ooh, things are ready. Bring on the next encounter. And we will try several times to achieve it and inevitably fail repeatedly because we're bad at this game and shouldn't be playing it. How did this help? It's the only side I can punch. But now it's here instead of there. Why? <laughs> For what reason is this of value? Maybe we'll find out soon. Nothing there, it's just flashing. Okay. Moving on. I've been playing a lot and this is the same level. The size of these levels is insane. I assume I'm going up here. Apparently I'm not. Is there a climbable wall that I can't see? Ah, oh, here we go. Do an extra jump just in case. And here's the thing. That's what we needed. And now we're going to get ganked by yet another cacodemon, no doubt. But at least I can aim. <laughs> at least I know how to fire a grenade now. So there is that. Nice and speedy. I like being fast in these games. And I'm, I'm pleased that I was given the idea to upgrade my um, field of view. Because now I can see what I'm doing. This has not helped in a couple of encounters, but you don't know that. Those encounters could have been even worse. Right? Boom. All these things needed just a nearby energy thing to succeed. Did we give it to them? No. Missed. Okay, so how do I get... Huh? Let's have another look at this go around. In fact, let's just use the map. The map will tell us how to achieve it. I thought I might be able to stand on the gun, right? Um, but I can't. Doesn't seem like it's considered a platform anyway. Uh, and then we'll run around here, and then we'll stand back on there. Can I literally just reach it from here? Maybe I can. Yeah, we've done it. Checkpoint, please. I don't want to do that again. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it literally did it as soon as I said it. I'll be honest, the game designers here really know what I want. <laughs> Presumably they know what everybody wants and it's the same for me. Uh, thank you for this. So we can have more health and heavy and super heavy demons down fire longer. The other thing is that... All health pickups contribute to blood punch, or team shop armor at a faster rate. Oh. I will take this because I'm using it more. I'm actually doing the thing, and we've, we've got that. So I'm into it. We have won an upgrade, and we deserve it. Thank, frankly, thank you very much. Only six ammo again. I will take this out. <laughs> I don't really like any of my options in terms of gun right now. Um, excuse me? What are you? Oh. You are a, a gone zombie. Nice. That was a good shot. Says I. I do say so myself. I kind of just want to go over there. Go now. Let's go and say hi. What's my next step? Down there? Probably. Boom. Just keep chopping. I've actually got 125 HP now, which I didn't expect. Please. Oh. 
penny in the old man's hat. There we go. So now I'm into the idea of having them stagger longer, because um, there's been a couple of times when we haven't been able to reach the enemy before the stagger wears off. Right? I would like that to not be the case anymore. Double check the map for Mad Secrets. I think we're okay? There's something over there, actually. We return. Smart. Break this? Yeah. He's into it. This is not worth me picking up, but picks up anyway. Cool. Thank you for the uh, map that tells me what to do. <laughs> a map with secrets on it is a map indeed. Whoosh. Magic. That was easy. It wasn't even a challenge. I can platform till the cows come home, but can I face an onslaught of monsters? No. <laughs> Not at this level of difficulty, anyway. Oop. Especially if I can't even shoot one. From reasonably close range as well. Hey, how about we make imps but they can fly? How about no? Your traditional doom aficionados would not appreciate this. Nevertheless, here we are. Uh, I, I guess at some point we want to go down here, but for now, I'm going to... Oh, not do that, apparently. And see what that sort of thing is going to give to me, because it seems pretty helpful. It is very much of a, hey, go this way, right? What did this get me? Up here. What is this? Slayer key. This will unlock a nearby Slayer gate. Completing all six Slayer gates unlocks access to the Unmaker in the Fortress of Doom. Whatever that is. This will be this then. Slayer gates are optional. Intense encounters, ammo and extra lives spent in the Slayer gate will not be restored afterwards. Completion awards three weapon points and an Empyrean key. Each Slayer gate is unlocked with a Slayer key, which is near the gate. So we have found that. Shall we do it? Uh, duh. Shove that in there. I like it. That's a massive key. Low ammo. Hey, should we do a intense encounter with no ammo? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Different colour as well. So let's do it. It's always going to say low ammo, so just deal with it. Oh, it's somewhere else. Okay, cool. Kill it. There we go. Please. Stop changing weapons! <laughs> Actually, kill the baddies. As long as they're all imps and stuff, I think I'm okay. I mean, I pretty much did exactly what I hoped I could do. <laughs> Which was to set everything on fire and then use my um, my blood fist to pwn them afterwards. Uh, grenade, please. Health will not be a problem. Um, I do need to reload my fire. There we go. Got one of them. E, E, E. Kill it. There's ammo all over the place. Oh, it's not all these. <laughs> Move. Get out of my way. Send me. Good job. Oh, chain right, I remember. It's just one hit C on chainsaw. Kill this. Needs three fuel. Needs three fuel. Not enough fuel. Run away! Nice. Didn't mean to do that, but we managed it. Health? <laughs> Anywhere health? Please health. Health. HP. Give me HP. Just run in here. Nice. Help. 
We're not gonna make it. Kill it. He's done it. Legend. Back of the net. Oh, he's not done it. Let's try it again. I'm hoping that the entrance of that was a checkpoint. Yeah, we're going to do that again. If you're struggling with the Slayer Gate, continue returning to it while, re while replaying the mission. You have more weapons and upgrades to meet the challenge. Using cheat codes hides the Slayer Key, disabling the Slayer Okay, so I learned that cheat codes... We missed a cheat code in the first level, and it's not really a cheat code in the sense that you might be thinking. Excuse me. Um, it's more that it is... Hang on. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. It's a... Um... It basically means that when you replay the level, it's not quite such a horrible... I actually don't use my blood punch, which is annoying. It means it's not such a difficult go through. You know, you can use it a little bit better for um, for, for the things that you're trying to get through. It doesn't contribute. It doesn't take away from your progress. But of course, you're playing through the mission the second time, so it's it's basically a quality of life thing. Hello. I like the distance on my thing now. Very helpful. On my um, glory kill. I would like also a little bit more HP and a little bit more ammo for the guns that I'm actually using regularly. Thank you. Right, so the uh, the next wave is on. We need to watch out for those hell knights and stuff. This revenant can bite me. Oh yeah, blood punch that thing, whatever it is. Don't even know what it is. Uh, let me out. I really appreciate that shift is what used to be double tapping UT. <laughs> Give me that. I'm ready to press my um, fire button. There we go. Whatever you were, no, you're not. Nice. Appreciate that. Just chuck grenades. That's how I was taught to play all these games. Launch grenades into the ether and hope for the best. And then run away. <laughs> oh. Don't walk backwards too much if you can avoid it because you never know what's there. Like this revenant here. Be gone. All things be gone. Oh, I pressed R instead of E. So I didn't even mean to press anyway, because I want to press shift. Never mind. I'm overwhelmed. Don't worry about it. Where did that come from? And thank you. Nice. That is not a weapon that I want to use secondary fire on. Just yet. It does lock on and it takes a second, which is kind of annoying. Because I don't really know how to use it as a result. Things seem to have calmed down a bit though, so maybe we can just not worry about it. I'm really appreciating my shotgun having a grenade launcher in it, because it's basically my primary weapon right now. In case you haven't noticed. LOL! You died. Low ammo, that's fine. I don't mind. Let's use this for the riffraff, which I assume is still just knocking around. Hello, riffraff? Riffraff. Sounds like it reminds me of um, some media property where some. Oh? Apparently, I just had to wait a while longer. Reminds me of some media property where, like, it was a, an entitled little girl. All six Imperial keys to activate the Maker device in the Fortress of Doom, which unlocks the Unmaker. Fair enough. Um, but I, I can't think of what it is. Some girl kept calling some kid riffraff, or something like that. 
You can, if you know what it is from that description, please tell me. <laughs> because first of all, that is a very weak description, so if you do know what that is, then kudos. Well done. I want that, but I don't know what to do afterwards. Oh. So what if we go down a bit? Is there anything over there that looks even remotely like it will rescue us if we do this? We might be able to make it to the... I think the jobby is going to be... You've done it! What a legend. Didn't even need it. <laughs> is that the only way through? Is that the way I was supposed to do it? Surely not. Probably coming up there. Okay. So here's where we are. The betrayer's life signal is nearby. We did spend a lot of our episode doing... Um... Whoops. Good job. Whoa! We spent a lot of our episode doing... <clears throat> Arcade stuff. That's okay. Just show me what to do next. <laughs> Stop giving me... Make me guess. I don't want to guess. Uh, what? You said I could reach that, and I clearly could not reach that. What? Give me my armor back. There we go. I don't screw this up. I was just pressing sprint for no reason. I'm just jumping. Just do it sensibly. Button? Anchor? I don't know. Open door gently? Open door gently! It's a good thing we can see these lasers. And also they turn off occasionally, which is nice of them too. How much longer is this level? I might have to give up halfway through. <laughs> Hey, dude. There's a guy. I you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. Probably. Got to try, though, no? Look at the glowy bit in the armor. That means we have to put something there. You seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance. Just as it was mine. Sure. Hear me Guessing he's a sentinel. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. Ah, here's the sword we got from the uh title screen. Thank you for just getting through the, uh, the lasers have just gone away. See that? Rebuild the system, get to the exit pool. We're not far off, I think. We can probably make this episode a little bit longer so that we, you know, finish the, the episode from it. Um, there was a, a glowing thing that I would like to find. He's a betrayer, so I don't really trust him not to, like, betray. Isn't that your job? To betray? Oh, this is what was glowing. A magical hammer. Tron would look so cool. <laughs> with, with these people doing it. Uh, we might as well go this way just to see what there is. These mechs and everything. It's just... This must be the Sentinel, right? I'm piecing this together. I'm not really paying attention. Of course, it probably tells me in the lore, um, but it would seem to me that this is the remnants of the Sentinel War. <clears throat> uh, and these mechs are built by them, and they lost despite all that. And this one single person, this Doomslayer, is somehow going to make everything all better. That didn't work. Want to try again? It's a weird combination of arcade and sort of semi-serious world building. It's very strange. Like, the whole thing is floating rocks chained to things and 
like hellscape. So like we're clearly in the underworld right now. And yet also, how did we get here? That was not correct. <laughs> it's not how you do that. Uh, is that the next one? There is a. I think we can maybe go around it. This is the first real one. Somehow we have to get over that. I was thinking maybe you want to go like this. Yeah, that works. Let's do that. Don't stand on these. And then there's things like this, like Super Mario platforming in 3D. In Doom. <laughs> you guys are just insane, okay? You Doom dudes. Id. There's a one-up. Right, so you have to stand on that, wait for it to go down, get the one-up. And then come back this way. So we're obviously going this way first. I'm on fire. And not in the good way. Not in the Kings of Leon way. It was Kings of Leon? Probably. But this one has you one-up under it. Stand in the middle. Get your one-up. And then get back. <laughs> nice, we got two up. Which is an Aussie game. Involving pennies. Hey. Ah, nice. Um, and then from here to here. And then up to here. And then to here. And then to here. And then that should be enough. Nice. And then we just kill these losers. Oh, well. Hello? Please. <laughs> Enough. Not you. You. There we go. Just do this. There we go. Oh, hello. I think that ding noise means that you've successfully taken out their weak spot. Oop. There we go. I needed a glory kill. Can you stop? Thank you. Can you? Get over it. <laughs> Run away. Howard! I'll get you. Give me some HP, thank you. Did you just use the jump pad? Is that allowed? I don't think that's allowed. Oh! I pressed E and R at the same time, and I was extremely lucky that when that happened, the, uh... Oh, God. Oh, it's all going wrong! <laughs> it's all going wrong! I was extremely lucky that when that happened, the, um... The one dude was basically owned. Can you stop <laughs> being weird? There we go. I'm guessing everything in between you and them gets owned when you do that sort of thing. Which is why I was trying it, but I'm not entirely sure it was the wisest thing to do. But that sort of thing, if you were keeping up, because it was kind of quick, was I was trying to use the chain lightning bolt thingy. From the, uh... Nice! From the plasma gun. It was locked onto the Revenant, but... The, um... What does that do, anyway? Okay. What does this do? What did I just get? Onslaught increases damage to start overdrive and increases movement. Berserk allows players... Okay, we know what Berserk does. Yeah, we've got the onslaught, I believe. Yeah, that seems pretty good. More of this, please. Not enough shots. <laughs> okay, I will gladly do this. Or just that, fine, whatever. <laughs> Stop making things so... 
changeable. Where am I bad guy? Bad dudes? Hello? There's one. Am I gonna get to the point where I can actually receive um, I don't mean to jump there straight away, but there we go. Uh, ammo from Glory Kills, that would be great. Fast travel unlocked. Uh, I mean, we've been there a long time, so I'm not sure I'm into that. The only thing we really miss that I care about? It's two. Where are they? Uh, here. That. So we missed that one, which was far away. I don't see any more. I see. Hell ended up being. Wait, it's a set look. Uh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Oop. Get in. What a weirdly circular, unprepared portal that was. How did we do? 13 or 15? 9 out of 10. Not bad, not bad. saving uh, and this will do it for us now thank you for watching hope you enjoyed these past three episodes on one uh campaign one mission but uh that's how it is <laughs> um we will come back in the next episode with the next mission we'll see what it is the fortress of doom sounds very much like a, a level from early doom so uh once again kind of appreciate that they're bringing back all those old tropes so until next time thank you for watching please remember to do a little bit of a subscription and uh, share etc if you're enjoying the series and think other people might want to see it too and then until next time uh, thanks for watching as i've said a million times and i will see you